Welcome to KeyboardBlues.com. This is part one of two from chapter seven, taken from the series Blues for Piano and Keyboard. In this chapter, a new technique for your left hand, made up of only two notes. Just two notes? How can that be any good? Now here's the secret. There are two really cool notes called the tritone. We'll take the two notes from this tritone, and we're going to use them to build left hand comp chords that are very simple to play, but they sound fantastic. Today we're going to talk about a brand new left hand technique. It's called comping. C-O-M-P-I-N-G. As a piano teacher, this is one of the questions I get the most. What do I do with my left hand? Before we dig into that, let's do a quick review. Listen to this left hand blues riff from previous blues chapters. Remember that? If you need to, go back and watch through some of the earlier chapters in this blues course. Now let's move into some new territory. Comping. Comping is chords played by the left hand while the right hand plays solo lines. Take a look at this. Notice that my left hand is only playing two notes at a time. This is the simplest comp chord you can do, but it can be nice and funky too. In the upcoming video, watch the left hand. You're going to see lots of instances where it's simply playing just those two note tritone comp chords. Now the left hand is going to be doing a lot of other things as well but you'll see lots of occasions where it's simply laying down that two note tritone comp chord. Now the right hand is going to be doing lots of blues riffs and tricks that I'm going to show you in upcoming chapters. But this is an example specifically to show you those left hand two note comp chords that are so powerful. Watch for them. Here we go. Did you see them? I played a whole lot of two note left hand comp chords. Now let's study how to build them on the keyboard. The two notes that we'll be using to create these left hand comp chords are the third and the seventh of the dominant seventh chord. Remember the dominant seventh chord is the number one most common chord used in the blues. Usually you'll see them written as a capital letter followed by a seven. Now here's a major brain saver. To find the dominant seventh of any chord, simply play a note that's a whole step down from the root. For instance, to find that mysterious note that turns C into C7, first start with the root, which is C, and go down a whole step, which is B flat, and just that quickly, you found that powerful dominant seventh note that can turn C into C7. Now we're putting the seventh down on the bottom of the chord, which is usually considered an advanced technique. But once you know this very simple secret, this advanced technique becomes very easy to do. And you can play that dominant seventh note anywhere you want. You can play it nice and low on the keyboard with your left hand. That's the dominant seventh down there. Or you can play it up high. Learning to do this is one of those very easy to understand musical shortcuts that can revolutionize your playing. Comp chords don't have to be complicated. They're just two notes played by the left hand. Isn't that crazy? Two notes can sound so fantastic. Sometimes, less really is more. Now the right hand is playing a whole lot of stuff, but we'll dig into that in future chapters. Now if you pick two notes in the left hand to make comp chords, it'll sound great. If you pick the right notes, it's just like anything else in life. 
It doesn't have to be complicated, but it does have to be right. Now the good news is that it's pretty easy to find these two notes. Let's check it out. In our course titled Pattern, Piano, and Keyboard, which you can find on the net at playpianotoday.com, we studied the two notes of this comp chord specifically, thirds and sevenths. In fact, we went over every kind of seventh chord possible. If you really want to become a creative musician, you really need to go through pattern, piano, and keyboard. And here's why. You can be a piano player or a keyboard player who just reads notes off the page, and that's good. Reading is important. To be a well-rounded musician, you do need to eventually learn to read. To do that, you can simply take lessons from most any local piano teacher, and they'll teach you how to read. Now, while I'm not minimizing the value of learning to read, the truth is that simply reading music does not make you a complete musician. In order to completely free yourself up musically and become a creative musician, you need to understand what you're doing. And once you understand music, you'll find a whole new world of creativity will open up for you on the keyboard. Pattern Piano and Keyboard does exactly that. It starts from the ground up. It doesn't assume that you've ever played before. But by the end of that course, you'll be able to play any song by ear, completely free from sheet music. In addition, you'll be able to come up with songs and arrangements of songs that have your own unique sound, something no one else has, and something that you can't get from the written page. Now, I know that's exactly what you're looking for, because in truth, everyone is. When they sit down and play, they want to be creative. So check it out at playpianotoday.com. All right, let's study these tritone comp chords in detail. So far, we've been playing the 12 bar blues in the key of C, which naturally makes the first chord C. And then we studied how to change C into C7, that nice little trick. In fact, we're going to change every chord now in this 12 bar blues exercise into a dominant seventh chord because it's just so nice, rich, and bluesy. So we'll play C7 like this, right? And then F will be F7. And then G will become G7. It's pretty simple. All right, let's go back to C. Now remember, we're going to make it C7 by putting the seventh on the bottom. Now, let me stack those notes traditionally with the dominant seventh note up on top. That's how most people typically play it. It's a real simple way to play it but sometimes it's real useful. Sounds kind of like a bebop chord, right? Maybe like a train coming down the track to mow you down. <laughs> Look out! Now to build our first tritone, we're going to pick two of those notes. The third and the seventh. And that's it. So here you go. This is the first tritone comp chord. And you saw me get all funky and get all jiggity with it earlier in the video. So this is what we're going to play for C7. Just that simple little two note comp chord. Of course it looks just the same in the left hand except it's played by the left hand so that's what this looks like. This has been part one of two in chapter seven. In part two we're going to study in detail that tritone comp chord and how it's used in the blues. Now if you're watching this video on a site other than keyboardblues.com you can find part two simply by doing a search for blues piano lessons. Otherwise, come on over to KeyboardBlues.com and you can watch the whole series. In this website, there's a wealth of online piano and keyboard lessons that you can dig into right away, including this lesson. Before you leave this site, though, would you do us a favor? If these lessons are valuable to you and you'd like to see more, would you just take a minute and leave a comment on the site that you're on right now? Or you can simply rate the video. Either way, it really helps us and enables us to post lessons just like this one, free of charge. Thanks. Thanks.